Many thanks to Jerb, Skillspeeder Gaming, Jaren, Daisy Podcast, and Taggy's Tag West for making this video possible. Identifying which weapon a potential enemy is using will give you a huge advantage in any PvP situation. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how to master the art of matching weapons to weapon sounds and unravel the mystery of why weapon sounds are so damn difficult to distinguish. Like always, let's start with the basics and get those covered. There are up to five different weapon sounds per weapon in DayZ. These five different sounds can be placed into three different groups for all of the weapons. These are weapons that cannot attach the suppressor, weapons that can attach suppressors, and weapons that have fixed suppressors as standard like the MK2, VSS and ASVAL. For simplicity, we'll rename these to unsuppressible, suppressible and fixed. The unsuppressible group has three sound files per weapon, between 0 and 50 meters, 50 meters to 250 meters, and 250 meters plus. Suppressible weapons, because they allow the suppressors as an attachment, have five different sounds, the same as the unsuppressible sounds, but with the addition of suppressed sounds between 0 and 50 meters, and 50 meters plus. There's no 250 meters plus sound, because all suppressed weapons in DAISY cannot be heard beyond 250 meters. The final group, fixed suppressor weapons, have only two sound files, 0 to 50 meters and 50 meters plus. Using this Venn diagram, we can see all of the weapon sounds in DayZ split into three different categories into one chart. And FYI, weapons like the Blaze and the BK-43 that use the double shot play the same sound just twice. That's why the weapon sound sounds a bit weird, because it's the same sound file playing over the same sound file very quickly. One of the biggest reasons weapon sounds are so hard to identify in DAISY is the fact that weapon sounds on certain weapons sound exactly the same. For example, the Colt and the Engrave Colt have the exact same five weapon sounds, the VSS and ASVAL have the exact same two weapon sounds, and all of the AK variants, yes all of them, have the exact same five sounds. This I guess does make sense, but when we compare the Blaze and the Winchester at 0 to 50 meters, they sound very different. Any veteran of the game will tell you which weapon has been fired here, so let's play a little game and test your knowledge. Which weapon of the two weapons that I just mentioned are being fired here? If you said Blaze, you are correct. Now let's play the same game with these two weapons still, but this time we're going to step 100 meters away, so we're between 50 meters and 250 meters with the same two weapons. Which weapon is being fired now? If you said Winchester, you'd be half correct, because it was actually both of these weapons. They, they sound exactly the same beyond 50 meters. The Winchester and the Blaze have the exact same sound beyond 50 meters, and this includes above 250 meters too. So only below 50 meters do these two weapons sound different. Now this isn't the only case of this happening in DayZ. Between 0 and 50 meters, here are the three different shotgun sounds. All of these weapons have very distinct properties and I could probably tell you which weapon is being fired if I was within 50 meters and I couldn't see the gun. But when you go beyond 50 meters, they're all exactly the same sound file. And this continues up to 250 meters plus, so from 50 meters onwards, all of the shotguns and DAISY sound exactly the same. Again, a very unique weapon sound is the CR527, but when you go beyond 50 meters away from this weapon, it sounds very familiar to the shotguns as you can hear. So even though the CR527 is a rifle, it sounds the same as shotguns beyond 50 meters, and just FYI, this is how far away 50 meters is. The same goes for nearly every weapon in DayZ. At certain ranges, the same sounds are used by different weapons, so it's very confusing which weapon is which, which we'll get into later in this video. For now, I want to focus on how suppressors affect these sounds. All weapons that either can allow a suppressor or have a fixed suppressor as standard have two different sounds, like I said earlier, between 0 and 50 meters and beyond 50 meters. There's no sound for above 250 meters because suppressed weapons cannot be heard beyond 250 meters. These two suppressed sounds, like the normal weapon sounds, also use the same or similar sounds used by many other weapons. For example, at 0 to 50 meters, this is point blank range by the way, the BK-18, LAR, M4, Repeater, Mosin, SVD and Winchester all have incredibly similar suppressed weapon sounds. Another example of how suppressors make your weapon hard to identify is the fact that all pistols apart from the Deagle sound the same with suppressors, and all the SMGs have very similar sounds to the pistols when suppressed too. 
Now when we sample above 50 meters with suppressed weapons, identifying which weapon is which at this range becomes almost impossible because most suppressed weapons in DayZ sit in just two sound groups at this range. Group 1 contains these suppressed weapons and Group 2 contains these suppressed weapons. These are most of the weapons in DayZ and they are just split into two different groups when you're using suppressors. Now hearing suppressed weapons in DayZ is going to be unlikely unless your enemy is nearby, which also means the same applies to 0 to 50 meters of unsuppressed weapons and 50 to 250 meters of unsuppressed weapons. This is because most of the weapon sounds you will hear in Daisy will be heard at above 250 meters. You won't hear these sounds, you'll only hear one sound, simply because the probability of you being anywhere in this circle is much higher than the probability of being in the 250 meter circle. So the only sounds that we really need to learn are the 250 meter plus sound, as it's the most likely sound that we're going to hear anyway. The problem with this is, past 250 meters, like suppressed weapons, most weapons in Daisy are incredibly similar in sound. As an example, here's the sound of the blaze beyond 250 meters, and the sound of the SVD beyond 250 meters, the sound of the CR527, 250 meters, the BK133, the BK43, the Vega, the Winchester, and even the Magnum. They all have the same or very similar weapon sounds. This is why I've created the rule of five because above 250 meters, there are only five weapon sounds across 31 different weapons in DayZ, just five. So as long as you can remember the five weapon groups I'm about to show you, you will know the sound of nearly every weapon in DayZ while you're walking around starving looking for food. Group 1 is the group I just showed you, and because this group contains most of the loud weapon sounds in DayZ, we call this group the Loud Weapon Group. Next we have what I'm calling the Average Group, with the loudness of their weapons being average. The third group is what we call the Quiet Sound Group, containing all SMGs and all pistols with the exception of the Magnum, which is in the Loud Weapon Group. Now the other two groups which make up the five groups are very easy to learn because there's only one in each of these two groups. Group 4 has the SKS containing one of the most unique sounding weapons in the game. And finally, group 5 is the Sporter, and yes you can hear the Sporter very far away. So with the exception of the SKS and the Sporter, there are technically three different sound groups in Daisy that you'll hear most of the time. The Loud Weapon Group, Average Group, and the Quiet Group. The loud weapon group mostly can be heard up to 3,400 meters away, the average group can be heard up to roughly 3,000 meters away, and the quiet group can be heard up to roughly 2,500 meters away, but this is while these weapons are not suppressed. No suppressed weapon can be heard beyond 250 meters. Now if we learn the rate of fire and maximum mag size of a weapon, it's possible to narrow down these weapon sounds even further. For example, in the loud group we can split these eight weapons that share the same sound into three subgroups. The double shot weapons, the cock weapons, and the semi-autos. As an example here, this lists the rate of fire and the maximum mag size of all of the weapons here in group 1, and we're going to shoot this weapon. Do you know which weapon it is? Well, we know it's not the Blaze or the BK-43 because this weapon fired more than two rounds very quickly. And we also know it's not a weapon that requires you to cock it because the rate of fire is just way too fast. So it must be one of these three, but it fired more than six shots, so it can't be the Magnum, meaning it's either the SVD or the Vega. Now that we've narrowed it down to just these two weapons, it's best to not engage this person in close combat because the Vega shreds up close and the SVD does too. So it's better to scout and snipe than it is to run and gun when it comes to this enemy. Which like I said at the start of this video, gives you a huge advantage in PvP situations. This is how some of the best players in DayZ think when it comes to PvP. If you master this, you'll be able to increase you coming out on top in gunfights. However, mastering this is not something that comes easy, you will need to work for it, but to break it down into its simplest form, learn the rate of fire of different weapons in Daisy, learn the maximum mag size of different weapons, and then learn the five sounds in the rule of five. 
Now if you want to go further than this, my next video which will be released tomorrow will contain every sound of every weapon in DayZ at several different distances while I comment on the unique characteristics of each weapon and which weapons sound similar to them to help you learn which weapon is which in DayZ. I'm also building two new tools for the Woibo website which contains all of the weapon sounds in DayZ at many different distances and allows you to compare them side by side, it's going to be pretty awesome. In other news, unfortunately I've got myself into a bit of trouble with my health so if you want to know more about that and why I won't be making videos for two weeks after the video I release tomorrow, please read below. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.